Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a sneak peek at a not so exciting, um, I use Poppin sarcastically in the description, um, a just kind of a, an extraordinary Friday night uh, here at Resilient Campus Headquarters, which is aka my home, <laughs> my home office. Uh, it has been a really busy week. It has been a whirlwind and some of you will probably empathize with getting ready for students and the fall semester to start. And I recently started an interim director job at the University of Minnesota and we have been, we hit the ground sprinting <laughs> this week. So um, just trying to kind of catch my bearings and recalibrate this weekend. Uh, was excited to return to some of the projects that I have been just anxiously awaiting to work on. And one of them, and I'm still laughing, just thinking about this interview um, that you can look forward to, but it was with my good friend, Drea Elzey, who I call Dr. Dre, right? A lot of people call her Dr. Dre, um, cause she is future doctor. Um, Drea and I are good friends. We've known each other since our grad program and we just giggle all the time and we kind of go off on these, I wouldn't say tangents, but we have a good time thinking about thinking, uh, if you, if you know what I mean. And, um, so what you can look forward to in the next couple of weeks is a two part episode with my friend, Drea Elzey. And, um, so I, I, I was still giggling, just editing the, um, podcast right now. Uh, putting the show notes in because I'm going to send it over to Dustin Ramsdell over at Higher Ed Geek and he's going to help me edit the actual audio files into two parts. So shout out to Dustin. Thanks for his work. Um, he has ep edited quite a few episodes of the podcast and I think his work has gone unnoticed. So I wanted to give him his due credit there. Um, so a couple of things to look forward to in the podcast. Uh, I just left the the interview with Drea raw and authentic. Um, so look forward to us saying, Hey Drea, uh, we're having a little technical difficulty. Did you step away from the microphone? <laughs> and, uh, you're going to love Drea's response. She actually had an earbud pop out of her ear while she was on her earphones. Uh, and it, I think it happened to be the side with the microphone on it. So there's a funny uh, moment that we share. Uh, so I kind of left that blooper in. I think it's fun and raw and she just seamlessly kind of jumps right back into her stream of thought. And that's Drea, if you know her and you probably either are that person that does that or you have a friend who they could just pick right back up where they were talking. So that's our episode coming up with Drea Elsie on the podcast. And I'm excited because she's wearing so many hats in higher education. She's working with government. Um, she works in K-12 environments. She works in a higher education institution, specifically a community college. And uh, so look forward to just really picking her brain. She's quite a brilliant uh, individual and a fun human being, super dynamic. Um, I have a lot of love for Drea. She's super cool. Um, I went live tonight, honestly, because it has been such a wild week. And I know that I've been um, kind of off the grid for a minute in terms of going live. I got sick for a couple of weeks. That was weird. A mosquito bite turned into cellulitis, like it got infected and it was a situation. And um, so that happened. And then I started the new full-time job and things are vibrant with Resilient Campus. So I'm trying to also make sure we take care of those things in the evenings during the weekdays, which is not sustainable over the long term. So this is all um, just trying to figure out how to um, do this, uh, you know, and still be a, a, a full person at the end of it, right? Um, some other things I am working on the Resilience Planner, which some of you know about, uh, but it's a planner that so far folks have been giving great feedback about on Facebook and uh, Twitter. So thank you all for providing that feedback and I'm looking into it. Um, and what I know about the resilience planner is that 
if it comes out in version one and people are like, yeah, I dig it and we know what to modify for the next version of it, I'm totally down for that. I, I want to get this in your hands as soon as humanly possible so you can begin using it and practicing that resilience on a daily basis. Um, the working title for it is Resilient 365, and I'm not sure. Uh, I wanted to, once I arrive to that point, I'm going to put a poll out there for you to vote on your favorite one, uh, your favorite title, and have you pick the title. And uh, I hope you enjoy that engagement because I really want your feedback on this. Uh, my good friend Heather Liu is going to be providing the cover art for the Resilience Planner. And if you know anything about H.C. Liu, um, she has a shop on Etsy. She's a queer woman of color here in Minneapolis and um, just came from the West Coast. She's super fun and uh, just brilliant and a really talented artist. Um, she uh, is going to do the cover art and I'm super elated about that. That is going to be awesome, life-changing, like total game changer for Heather to do the art. Um, so, and, and she's just an amazing person to collaborate with. So keep that in mind. Like if you're doing art healing work on your campus, or you want to have an artist make custom prints from watercolor and support a queer one of color business, but that's one way to do it is just reach out to HC Lou on Etsy or she's also on Instagram. Um, but she's super cool and just great to work with. Um, she probably won't like that I gave her a shout out. <laughs> Sorry, Heather. Um, we're still friends. Um, so here on this Friday night, I came home and I got a couple of internship success workbooks ready to send out to Sammy Walker in Pennsylvania. So shout out to Sammy Walker. Thank you for purchasing your workbooks to support your student interns this year. I know it'll save you a lot of time and energy and uh, so you can focus on other things, maximizing your student impact. Um, what else? So yeah, that's my Friday night. I've been writing down some show notes for Dean Squire's episode. That's going to be episode 25 and that'll come out next Monday or Tuesday. Um, and then I'm writing show notes for part one and part two of um, Drea Elsie's episode, which will be episode 26. And I hope that you giggle along with us and I hope that it's okay that it's not a perfect episode. I decided to keep it kind of raw and vulnerable in the um, editing phases of that episode. Um, so yeah, now something exciting to look forward to that I haven't announced to anybody is look forward to a new online community this weekend for Resilient Campus. And this is gonna be a place where Resilient Campus supporters can go and convene and connect with one another and somewhere where you can get like just exclusive access to um, things that I'm creating to support your work and that are generated by your feedback and insight. So I hope that you're having a great week, a great weekend. And um, sorry for the impromptu, like messy office in the background with terrible lighting. Um, and I haven't done my hair. <laughs> so I'm okay with it if you're okay with it. And um, I wish you well. I look forward to connecting with you soon. Um, send me an email, um, direct message me on any one of the social media platforms. You can message me on Facebook. If you have a question or you want to share how you're interacting with the podcast or how you're um, impacted by the internship workbooks or the social justice toolkits, like let me know what the impact of these things are. And uh, we love to share those stories out in the newsletter that goes out every Thursday. I like Thursdays. Do you like Thursday newsletters? Um, Cause I'm thinking Thursday or Friday, either one of those works for me. Um, and we, we can share those stories out. All right, this is probably too long of a Facebook Live. You all are doing much more fun things on Friday at like 10-ish p.m. I wish you the best and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Thank you so much for all your support.